So we're going to be working on logarithmic equation and we're solving logarithmic equation today using the properties of logarithms and uh, conversion of logarithms. Now, there are a few requirements on how to solve logarithms. First, you need to know how to solve logarithmic or you need to know how to solve linear equation and two, you also need to know how to solve quadratic equation. Now we know that there are three methods that we could use to um, solve logarithmic equation. We could factor, we could complete the square, or use the quadratic formula. And also, you need to know the properties of logarithms and how to conver convert logarithm to exponential and exponential to logarithm. Now let's start with the linear equation. So we started solving simple equation or simple linear equation like this, 2x plus 3 equal to 7, and solving for x for a linear equation is pretty simple. Just get rid of 3 by subtracting 3 on both sides so that x will be by itself. Since 2 is still with x, we divide both sides by 2, therefore x is equal to 2. And that's how we solve linear equation. Now for a quadratic equation similar to the second example, we have x squared minus x minus 30 equal to 0. And we know that that quadratic equation is factorable. So to factor it, we have x plus 5 times x minus 6 equal to 0. And using the zero product property, x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 6. Now for today, we're going to be working on logarithmic equations. So on our first example, we have logarithms. So we have logarithm of 2 plus x base b equal to logarithm of 2x base b. Now how do we solve functions or problem like this example? Now the rule is pretty simple if you have the same logarithm on both sides of the equation with the same base. Because all you have to do is to cancel the logarithm using the property and you'll end up with 2 plus x equal to 2x. And now we know that 2 plus x equal to 2x is just a linear equation. And by combining like terms, subtract x on both sides and we'll have 2 is equal to x. So this is our first example in solving logarithmic equation. So one, when you have logarithm on both sides with the same base, you can cancel the logarithm and proceed to your equation. Let's have more example. Now in this um, logarithmic equation, we are going to use the logarithm properties. So uh, we have three properties that we've learned before. We have the um, power property, addition property, and subtraction property, which we will use in this um, problem. So for the first example, we have two logarithm of x equal to logarithm of 4 plus logarithm of x minus 1. So before we can solve for x, we can first simplify our equation by using the properties of logarithm. For 2 log of x, we can use the power property, so this can be changed into logarithm of x squared. And for logarithm of 4 plus logarithm of x minus 1, we can use the addition property and change this into logarithm of 4 times x minus 1. And just like what we did on the previous example, if you'll notice, we have logarithm on both sides of the equation with the same base, so we can cancel them out. And we'll end up with x squared equal to 4 times x minus 1. x squared equal to 4 times x minus 1 can still be simplified. And we know that this is a quadratic equation. By distributing 4 to x minus 1, we'll have x squared is equal to 4x minus 4. And by equating the equation to 0, we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And we know that x squared minus 4x plus 4 is factorable. So we'll have x minus 2 times x minus 2 as our factors. And using the zero product property, the two values of x's that we have is x equals positive 2 and x equals positive 2. And this is how we solve logarithm, where, wherein we use the properties of logarithm in simplifying the equation to solve for x. Now let's work on the second example. So here we're still using the logarithm property and for this problem we can use the addition property to simplify logarithm of x base 2 and logarithm of x minus 2 base 2. So we'll end up with logarithm of x times x minus 2 base 2 equal to 3. 
Now the difference for this example is that we have a logarithm of base 2 on this side of the equation, but we don't have a logarithm on this side, so we cannot cancel logarithm of 2 to solve for x. What we can do is convert the logarithmic equation into an exponential equation. So you need to know how to convert logarithm to exponents to be able to answer this problem. So in converting it, we have 2 raised to 3 equal to x quantity of x minus 2. And now from this equation, we can simplify 2 cubed into 8 and distribute x times x minus 2, so we'll have x squared minus 2x equal to 8. We have a quadratic formula, and we have to equate this um, equation to 0, so we'll have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0, which we know is factorable, so we'll have x plus 2 times x minus 4 as our factor, and using the zero product property, our answer will be x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. So for this example, Sometimes you will only end up with one logarithm on one side of the equation. So it's not always both equations that contains logarithm. So sometimes you only have to deal with one. And this is an example of that problem.